back side, we're going to make some pockets. So we have two of these. They're three and a half by three. And we need our circle punch. And I punch these together so that the the half circle was basically in the same place. I'm going to put them in and eyeball it. Like that. And this again is a pocket. So we only want to put adhesive on three sides. Do that like so. Same thing to the other one. Move your tape liner. And I placed it about like so. I wanted it off centered slightly because we're going to put those tags in and we want to be able to get them in and out easily. And I want it about equal distance from the top so that it about like so. And our three and a half by two and a quarter pink and light blue papers need the corners clipped. I have a corner chomper. You might have some other tool or you can just use your scissors to cut the corners. Those will slide right in there like so. And that page is done. Then we need a photo sleeve with two four by six papers or slots. And we're going to have this and this. So it's a six by four papers. They actually are the same. One side is flowers, one side is checks. And your three by four photo mats. And we will put that on there. And another one. And on the 
back side. We have a photo mat on the top one. And those can get slid in. So again, front side, back side. That's done. Then we will need our camera paper that we made. And this one, all we need is a eight by one half blue and green paper. And we're going to use the green side and just adhere that there on the edge. Because this is an edge, I'm going to use the score tape. It's a little bit stronger. I'm just thinking it might get handled a bit more. But you could certainly use a tape runner here. Close to the edge as you can get it. Now it's on the inside. On the outside we're actually going to use a sticker so that's why nothing else is there. And for the back I put a four and a half by six and a half photo mat and just kind of centered that on the page. Again, you can use all your dots to help line it up evenly. And that's done. Then we will need a 6x4 and 6x4 photo sleeve. This one's going to go in the bottom. This is in the top. Make sure you get the right up and down. This is where I use my rainbows, and you will need to trim it to six inches. And just attach that oh, about a quarter of an inch up from the bottom. cut this piece. If you have some extra, go ahead and cut that and you can put that on the, on the back. But for now, I'm going to just move along. So we have this and that. And set that aside. Now we need a photo sleeve that 6 by 8 we need our 6 by 8 ice cream cones it's got the rainbows on the front we need our four and a half by six and a half blue pink paper and that is just going to get centered on your rainbows side I 
You're going to need a four and a half by six and a half white. And then it's your clouds or plaid, six by one. And navy or green by six by one and one quarter. I attached my plaid to the navy. And center that on center the plaid on the navy. For this I also formed a pocket. So I put the tape on the bottom and on the two sides. I put just above that one. For mine, it was pine, uh, pine cones. For mine, it was ice cream cones. Yours may be cut slightly different than that. So just go with it. And then this piece, my photo mat. I did slide this in. So, but you still have a pocket here that you can put additional things in it should you want to. So then that goes in your sleeve. And that one's done. Then you need your little flower baskets. We need two of the eight and a half, or eight, excuse me, eight by one half navy pieces. And for this, I'm just using tape runner. So it's not going to get that much stress. Just going to go over this edge. And do the same for the back side. to kind of line up where it was covering. And I'm going to go back over to this side. And put on my photo mats. That's upside down. How about a 3 by 4 photo mat the right way? Although it wouldn't have mattered because I was going to cover it up. That's it for there. On the back side, it's going to be a 4 by 5 and a half photo mat. even all the way over onto the plaid on this one. And 
another page down. And we'll need our photo sleeve with the two pockets again. And we'll put a flower market in the top. That's a four by six journaling card. And we'll put our plaid in the bottom. On the back, I wanted to use the flower baskets again. So a six by four flower baskets and a three by four photo mat mounted on top of that. Then we need a 4x4 four four photo sleeve, excuse me, a 3x4 photo sleeve with four pockets. And we will put this one in the bottom, here, here, and here. So these are journaling cards from your 3x4 journaling cards. And these two papers we cut. On the back side, I flip this over. It would look like so. We're going to use another journaling card on this one. And we're going to use just our little bees and this one. And we need another two by three, which I don't believe I have. So you can just put a 2 by 3 photo mat there. So that's the back side. So we'll come back over to the top side, right side. Front side. Put your clouds in and your pretty dots. Sure, that's going in the right direction so my knees are flying up. This one goes here. And this one we already determined what was going to go in the back there. And then that page is done. Now we have our last page that we built. We already put on this light blue stripe. And we are need this 4x4 four four journaling card. Now I cut it down so that it would fit on there. Cut it down to about three and three quarters. And of course, I still wanted my writing in the middle, so we're going to cut it down. Well, let's just take a quarter inch off each side. So a quarter inch off of that side and a quarter of an inch off this side. I think that'll look good. Just use a tape runner to attach that. And then because I, I kind of want that margin and this margin to be similar. And then on the inside for this one, A card that I cut apart. This is a four by four, but we want it trimmed down to three by three and a half. So I'm going to trim it okay, 
Okay, this way I'm going to do three and a half. And the reason I chose that is because I want to see all those three. So this way is going to be three then. Go three this way. And we need our circle punch. I think I'll punch it this way. I don't know. Do it however you'd like. There's no right and wrong with scrapbooking. And then we'll use our tape again on three sides because it's a pocket. So, middle of the flap, half inch or so up from the bottom. And, <coughs> excuse me. Then the pink, light blue piece of paper. This, I believe, is four by one half. Then we need our three and a half by two and a quarter tags or blue and pink paper. And I'm going to cut those corners again, clip those corners. And then I kept one blue, flipped one around, and it's pink, and put them in there. So then we're to the back side of our polka dot paper. Then I used a three and a half by six. This one's up a little bit higher, about a half an inch from the, the side. Again, I use my dots to line it up. And then a 4x6 photo sleeve. And then I came down, yeah, let's do it like so. So this margin should be similar to that margin. done. Then we need the photo sleeve with the two small small slots on the top and the big slot on the bottom. We have our 6 by 8 cloud paper or plaid and we're going to score that at 4 inches. I have such a mess over here, I can't find my scoring tool. Here it is. So score at four. Don't press too hard, you don't want to rip your paper. Missing my navy piece, so we'll get that when we do our embellishments. And 
and I have a 3x4 card. else on the inside for now. I'm going to flip it over. So this is okay and this is okay, but I did not do my photo mat here. So I'll take it out and we'll put our photo mat on. One we need a six by eight photo sleeve. We need this six by eight piece of paper and our bumblebees or yellow polka dots, eight by one and a half. to adhere this about a half an inch from the edge. And then I used a 4 by 5 photo mat. And on the back side, We have our five and a half by seven and a quarter kind of pinkish reddish flowers and the flower baskets. And that is centered on the paper. And then a four and a half by six and a half photo mat. And that gets put in your sleeve. our last photo sleeve. Again, a journaling card for the top, a 4x3 checked, and your 6x4 go here. I'm going to turn it over to see what we need to do. So on the back of this one we're going to put a 2x3 journal mat not journal mat, photo mat. And nothing will be on the back of that. This pretty as a picture, I cut down to three and one fourth top to bottom and three and a half side to side. So three and a half side to side should be taken off a quarter off each side. Three and a fourth. We'll be taking off a little more than a quarter. Again, this is scrapbooking. Nothing is has to be precise. Mine doesn't have to look like yours. 
And this one, I use dimensionals to pop it up. I didn't use too many dimensionals at this point because as anyone that's made mini books before, they all tend to start to get a little too thick. So just take off those paper pieces. sure it's still on the right up and down on that side and we are going to center this here so we have our flowers on the bottom our let love grow on the right And the check on the top left. So it looks like that. Okay. need our flip book back. As long as we're at the back, that's where we're going to go next. Again, we're going to make another pocket. So we have our six and a half by three inch navy piece. We will Punch the half circle about halfway again. I'm just going to eyeball it. And we will apply tape to the three sides. And then I did close this flap. This sticks out a little bit farther than just the bottom part of it. So I wanted it centered in this space, not in this space. Then I trimmed my cameras to six and a half inches. or so up from the bottom of the navy. Then you have a journaling card. And then this is a 3 by 5 piece with the flowers on the back side. Put that on there. So that's the back. Then we need to do our cover. Okay, for the cover, I took out this just because it's easier to work with. And you need that eight by one half yellow dot. And your journaling card and a three by five navy. And then I just used a scrap. This scrap is four by two and a half. 
You may have a different pattern that you like better and just use that. So I think we want this just a little shorter than the eight. Let's make that. Well, I guess it is eight. So I'm going to trim this to eight. Of course, my trimmer doesn't have that. So we're going to just use tape runner on this. And then the navy. Then my scrap paper. journaling cup. Like so. Now all you have to do is put your book back together. So you take this piece, this metal piece goes in first. Flip all your pages over and go ahead and put them on. on that way and your metal piece on top. Fold your metal pieces in and then your book is complete. So that's it for this part. The next part we'll do the, our embellishing. Bye for now.